welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner-related videos, DIY tutorials, budget videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I do load a new video. And if you could also comment, like, and share, <laughs> that would be amazing. All right, so it is Nietzsche Saturday, and that concept was started by by Jasmine Silver of Jasmine Silver Plans here on YouTube, as well as Miranda of Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan here on YouTube. And as always on Nietzsche Saturday, I will link their channels below. Definitely go ahead and check them out. And basically Nietzsche Saturday, Saturday is just working in your happy Nietzsche, Foba Nietzsche, all the Nietzsche's, happy planner, half sheet, happy notes on a Saturday. <laughs> Or at least it'll be posted on a Saturday because today is actually Saturday the 10th, but this will be posted on Saturday the whatever that day is. And let's look. It'll be posted on Saturday the 24th when you guys actually see this. Is that right? Yeah, so it'll be posted on the 24th uh, for me to start the week. No, no, no. Wait, what? Oh, okay. It's the 10th now. Wow. Okay. It's the 10th now. It'll be posted on the 17th so that I can start. <laughs> Poof. All right then. Wow. I mean, and I have a planner literally with the days in front of me and I still got that wrong. Great. Awesome. So much knowledge on this channel, guys. So much knowledge. So we are going to work on this week right here and excuse the noise and i want to play with the stamps that andy from it's a reading thing had sent me and then i want to use some of the black stickers that i picked up from amazon because except for the red going on behind the days of the week the rest of the spread is going to be black now let me get this off and put these to face each other. We'll work with the stickers afterwards, but we'll work with the stamps now. Now I don't know if I'm gonna use a different stamp for each day or if I'm gonna use the same stamp. I guess it really just depends on how that first one comes out. But that's what we have to choose from. And I'm kind of digging that one right there, although that one's nice too. Well, let's go for this one. And I did actually pull all of these up and, and it, was, it was a task, guys. <laughs> My arm actually hurt afterwards, but they are all up. Well, I don't know if I pulled up these little ones, but I'm definitely not gonna use them today, so that's fine. This is my Stays On ink. Make sure I don't ink myself. And let's see how this goes. Again, not sure if I'm going to do a different stamp per day or just the one. And there's writing on this, I think, yeah. I'm trying to see which way is up. So the flower is in the corner. This shouldn't be this hard. You know what, I have to do a test. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's the correct way, like this. <laughs> So clearly I'm not a stamper. <laughs> Cause I don't think that was supposed to be that hard. So the 
we'll just do the inkiest part that goes in the corner and I'll think I'll put right in the center press down push evenly and lift straight up oh that's nice and it looks almost clean and even if it wasn't I, I wasn't going to clean it anyway <laughs> so let's actually just play so I'm going to fast forward through this next step. I don't think any of them other any of the other ones have writing, so it's not going to really matter on the direction that I place it down. Just want to make sure I ink it up pretty good. And like I said, I'm going to fast forward through this next step and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, so I really like how that came out. Now I know for a fact for this week, I'm probably not going to be in here very much. This is the week before we start um, the semester. And so I know I'm going to be crazy, crazy busy. So um, it, it actually doesn't bother me that a lot of this space is going to be taken up by stuff. So I'm just going to take out some of the black florals because I want to add touches of that as well. And I'll link these stickers below. Uh, they are washi stickers and I think they are absolutely gorgeous. The biggest problem that I find with these is that um, they're hard to take up. So let me cut that because I want to kind of create like a peekaboo sticker because again I don't need a lot of functional space for this particular week. Let's see how that actually looks. Yeah I don't like that at all. <laughs> In my head, it seemed like it would work a treat. But you guys know how that goes. So maybe we're just gonna do the one. No, I don't like how that looks. Maybe that one was too big and we need something delicate. Let's see. And whether I cut the sticker on the backing or took the backing off and then cut the sticker, I think it still would be difficult either way. 
And that's the, that's the only complaint I have about these because I think they are gorgeous. It, I'll leave that there for now and I'll think about it. Because this space, I didn't put a stamp, so I can definitely put a bigger sticker. That one looks good. Because I'm not purposely trying to fill the space, I just, if it happens, it's not a big deal. So, get this down. All right, so I like how that looks. I kind of like how that looks. But I don't want that to be the only one. off. All right guys, so I don't know that adding any more florals will look right, or at least I don't think it will. So I pulled out my gold star sticker books and I think we'll put some quotes on here. And I was just looking at one. Okay, so... Throw glitter in today's face. And I think the color scheme still works. Dare to be different. Kind of liking the rose gold aspect. Don't know if we'll find anything else though. Because the rose gold or black would be alright. So we'll do make your move down here. working for the weekend because I know by the midweek I'm going to be already jonesing for Saturday and Sunday this well okay so I've got ink on my fingers so I know I've I've added ink there so that's no bueno sorry I'm just you know I'm going to leave it because I was thinking about taking the quote stickers off but again uh the Probably the next time I'm going to look at this is when I'm doing the following week. I don't know that I'll be in my planner very much at all. Uh, I think I actually should have just left it without the quotes or maybe one or two, but not on every single section, but it's done now. I love the stamps that Andy sent me um, in Happy Mail, so thank you so much, Andy, for that. Um, I think this looks good, and again, if I had just left the stamps in this, nothing else, I think it would have been fine. Really, I just I wanted to get rid of some of the white space because I didn't think I'd be writing much. This layout was actually inspired by Andy because uh, she has done some layouts in the past where she's done boxes, but she didn't do full lines, as well as Aubrey from the Happy Nietzsche Inspiration Facebook group. So thank you to those two ladies for this. Let me know what you think below with the editing. I think this is probably going to be the shortest Happy Nietzsche um, or Nietzsche Saturday video that I've ever done. So <laughs> yay. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me for now, and as always, aloha.